When you get a virus, what do you do? You probably run your spyware stopper, Trend Micro, Norton, whatever it is, right? Well, what if that didn't find it? What if you still have a problem? What if you don't know where it is? Well, in this little video tutorial, I'm going to show you a few possible ways to clean a virus, to delete a virus. This first one is if you use Firefox or Safari. Yes, there is Safari for Windows. I kind of like it a lot. My Firefox is going to take a few minutes to load because counted yesterday and I have 31 add-ons. Most of them are just pointless little things. So what we're going to do when Firefox finally loads is go to downloads and check what you could have downloaded that would have caused it to malfunction or mess up your system. Okay, now that Firefox is loaded, we go to tools and we go to downloads. Then Google Updater exe that's what I downloaded recently now even though that's not a virus this is just an example of showing you how what you would do if it were so now we know that Google updater may have caused the virus then you go to start search and I'm gonna will pause it till search comes up. The search has come up. You can search what kind it is. I usually just do all files and folders. Then all are part of the file name. Let's say Google Earth. Well not Google Earth, Google Updater. Google Updater. There we go. Then look in, it doesn't, you can do any drive that you want. Then when was it modified, more advanced options. Be sure you have search for hidden files and folders selected. And then you just let it search. And I'm going to pause it until it comes up with some results so you don't have to sit here and watch it. Alright, so it's come up with three results so far and they are all prefetch files I don't really know what that means at all but it's something that's affiliated with Google Updater so if this were the virus then you could delete these three files or whatever else comes up since it's pretty much done you can stop it and then just keep this window up and find the files that it's telling you that it that are connected to the program that you don't want then just delete them and now that moves us on to tip number two that is if you have trend micro internet security 2008 or probably I don't know but if any other virus scan protection programs have a quarantine bin or something equivalent to that this is for you so what you need to do is just load your main menu. I'll pause it till it loads. And go to, yeah, you protected virus and spyware controls. And then quarantine. Examine quarantine files. And this does not have any See right here, adware. It's got an adware in it. And you can either restore that, not recommended, or delete it. This is a spyware. I'm just going to delete it so I don't have to worry about that anymore. And then virus quarantine. If it sh finds any viruses on my computer, I can clean it, which means clean it out of the system. I can restore it, which means send it back to where it came from or I can just delete it, just take out the whole thing. The difference between cleaning is and deleting is cleaning takes out the bad parts, deleting just kills the whole whole thing in that directory. And just be sure to run spyware and virus scans really regularly 
be sure to defragment your hard drive regularly and thanks for watching this video tutorial